So here we go. <clears throat> Your hand's shaking. Why are you shaking, bro? Um, too much coffee. Too much coffee. Oh, okay. He's good. He's okay. good. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Business can be fun, rewarding, and if you're lucky, it can even be profitable. But sometimes it can be challenging, difficult, and just downright hard. Uh-oh. That didn't no. take long. Are you going to cry? Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, no. Let him. He's telling Ow. us what's going on. It's all right, buddy. We're here for you. Ow. You got it or you want Kelly to read it or me to read it? You can read it, Kelly. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Al. And if Kelly right. starts crying, I'll try. Oh, and when no, I start I crying, Jenica like tries. Okay. Business can be fun rewarding and if you are lucky it can even be profitable but sometimes it can be challenging difficult and just downright hard but like they say if it was easy everybody would do it i've been fortunate enough to have been in the owner of a few businesses over the years a limo service which is how you got this job That's really right. a bar in playa del carmen and some restaurants in dallas as well all of which have had some good times as well as some bad but i'm grateful for every single day the lord blessed me to have been in business and all the lessons learned I st oh, ow. I stumbled into McKinney Avenue Tavern almost nine years ago, and two months later, I was the owner. But today, I'm the former owner. <sighs> I always took a lot of pride in owning this place. Can me read the handwritten part, too? Sure. Being the only black-owned restaurant in Uptown, being a single owner with no business partners, I was very proud of that. And sure, we had events and parties and all sorts of fun. But more than anything else, we made friends, customers, employees, vendors. It didn't matter. We were all family. And over the years, I've gone to dinner with customers. I've taken employees to Mexico. I've gone to weddings of customers and sadly, a few funerals too. But that's what families do. But, by, but at the end of the day, when you are in business, tough decisions have to be made every single day. And after eight years of selling wings, wings pizzas, burgers, and beers, I had to make the decision to close it down. Lately, business has been going from okay to slow to slower. There were good days sprinkled in from time to time, but overall it wasn't great. And despite all of the drive and perseverance and positive thoughts and lots of prayers, I had to make a decision. Hang in there worked for a while, but even that had become old and tiresome. Telling my staff was maybe the hardest thing that I've ever done in my life. Sean has been with me for six years, and I grew up with him. And the man doesn't know what the words day off mean. Mm-mm. Benito, my head cook, has worked there for over 14 years. He rides the bus to work and is still never late. He whistles Christmas songs all year long. <laughs> Danica, my head bartender, has never been on time. <laughs> well, maybe four times. But I love her anyway, and she's earned my love, trust, and respect. The list goes on and on, and my customers are the best ever. Like I said, we are family. I was so hurt to let everyone down. I've cried like a baby all weekend. But it was time. I don't know if there is ever a good time to quit. But sometimes we have to put our pride aside and put on our big boy pants and make a decision. And I did. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. To my McKinney Avenue Tavern family, I can't begin to tell you how sorry I am for having to make the decision to close our doors. For the last eight years, this place has been home. Not just my home, but hopefully yours too. And I thank you all for stopping by for a drink or Big Al's Balls. It wasn't just the building that made the mat. The people made the mat. The customers, the employees, the football fans, the karaoke singers, you made the mat. There was just a feeling that you got that you got when you walked in the door. All I ever wanted was to have a comfortable bar where people could have fun, drink with your friends, or make some new ones. And boy, did we make some friends. I will always cherish every single time the entire bar joined hands and we sang Lean On Me together. I'm proud to say that only happens at the mat. So to all of the customers, all of the past employees, to all of our vendors and all the listeners of the show that stopped by to say hi, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the great times. <clears throat> Cheers, and I hope to see you again soon. P.S. See you at Big Al's down the hatch. Oh, he's got those. So not all is lost. Not all is lost, Al. It's not. Yeah. Not oh, all is Al. lost. I know. Oh, I, know, no. I was not. A, I don't think we were expecting that story this morning. It's a sad day, Al, but you know what? Yeah, thank you, you did Al. a great job with that place. I appreciate the Simpsons it. never saw that one coming out. <laughs> wow, Kelly. <laughs> well, actually, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs>